for us today. Tom Wills will be up next to let us know just how low these temperatures are going to go. Oh, really good. Open the windows in the bedroom and snow. That's good. right. By far the coolest weather so far this fall season, but that record will probably only last about another day because some by Saturday morning even colder weather is coming our way toward the Ohio Valley. Let's look first of all at some of the cool readings we had around the region this morning. In fact, many reports of frost in some of the outlying areas this morning around town. And temperatures drop for the most part into the uh, mid and upper 30 category around the area. Go north, Bedford 36 degrees, some reports of frost up there. Same thing in Floyd's Knobs. Harry Darty says some little frost in low-lying areas. Also, Frankfurt at 37, 38 degrees, and also some frost on some cars there. Frost at Carrollton at Hill at 37 degrees over there. So you can see kind of a cool morning. In fact, uh, down Taylorsville, too, 37. John Nation reported some frost there on the rooftop. So kind of a uh, real cool morning across the Ohio Valley this morning. But then, once the sun came out, hardly a cloud in the sky all day long today. Things warmed up and became very, very pleasant around the afternoon hours. At 5 o'clock, temperatures are, well, getting close to 70 through many parts of the area. A little bit cooler to our southeast. The southeast winds have not picked up over there yet. Taylorsville 63 and Frankfurt 65. Most places elsewhere, though, are pretty much uh, getting close to 70. But, of course, now with the sun going down, it's not going to be too much of a change in that. And they're going to start falling down quite rapidly in the evening hours tonight. At 6 o'clock in Louisville, our reading is still stuck at 68 degrees at Stanford, one degree cooler out of Bowman Field. Today's high reached 69. The official low in Louisville this morning was 43 degrees, but of course we saw quite a bit cooler than that in many of the outlying areas in the morning hours today. The satellite view this evening shows what looks to be kind of an innocent-looking satellite photograph tonight. Many parts of the central United States, from the Ohio Valley back to the Rocky Mountain states and from there up into Canada, all look pretty well clear today, and they were. The problem is the weather is coming from this area to our north. You can see a narrow line in southern parts of Minnesota. That's the, be the beginning of a little small area of out outbreak of rain along a major cold front coming out of Canada. That's going to plunge very rapidly toward the south. Those clouds, in fact, more of them, should be here by tomorrow, giving a chance of a shower for us, but definitely bringing in quite a bit of colder weather for us as time wears on for tomorrow. Underneath those clouds, the U.S. surface map looks like this this evening. That cold front's plunging out of Canada. It's caused a few rain showers in Minnesota, snow showers north of there across southern parts of Canada. And we got a very, very strong low developing in the western part of the Great Lakes states. In fact, this system has got virtually everything going for it except moisture. It's a very intense storm. It will give us a very interesting sky tomorrow, a lot of turbulence, a lot of wind, and uh, perhaps a few showers in the area. But definitely, by late tomorrow, as that cold front drops to our south, a major surge of cold air coming our way. We may even see some freezing temperatures in the outlying areas by Saturday morning as this high pressure area and the cold air plunges toward the Ohio Valley to make things again seem very wintry into Saturday. Things to begin to ease after that. So kind of a taste of autumn coming up in the forecast, but not until tomorrow. Clear skies, cool overnight tonight. Not nearly as cool as it was this morning, though, about 48 degrees for the overnight low. Then by drive time tomorrow morning should be partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the low 50s. Tomorrow, though, is when things are going to change. That cold front comes our way, making things mostly cloudy, quite windy, quite cool, and about a one in three chance of showers coming in around the midday hours or so as that front plunges on through. Tomorrow's high about 65 early, cooling off later on. Looking ahead to Saturday in the 30s in the morning hours, and then climbing up into the only the 50s for highs early uh, Saturday afternoon, that is, and plenty of clouds then. But things should begin to calm down and warm up by Sunday and Monday, and we'll see actually seasonable temperatures again by next Tuesday. We wanted to see some cooler temperatures, and by golly, we're going to get them. We're going to need more than sweaters this time around. <laughs> That's right. We need jackets and coats. Thanks, Tom.